I had reached the end of my patience. I left work that day and went straight home. And my mother in law was waiting for me in front of the house with a grin on her face. What's going on, mother? Oh, did your boss want to talk to you? Did you understand what would happen if you challenged me? Yes, I understand perfectly well that you are a very bad natured bitch. How dare you talk to your mother in law like that? You really have no idea about anything. I won't forgive you this time. Divorce my son right now and get out. Okay, I'll get a divorce. I said that and headed for the city office. My name is Jane. I'm a 30 year old office worker. I got married just three months ago to a man named Tom. I met my husband a long time ago. We were colleagues at the same company. I had a hard time getting used to my job and had no romantic feelings for him, so we were really just colleagues. Then my husband was assigned to a different department and we saw each other less and less at work. But a year ago, there was a project that involved several departments. My husband and I were assigned to that team. It had been a while since I had seen him, and he looked more handsome, and he managed his job really well. I was attracted by this side of him. The project was a success, and we started to go out for drinks and became closer after that. After six months of dating, he proposed to me, and we got married. Since we had enjoyed spending time together while we dated, I thought that our married life would also go well. But as soon as we got married, problems arose. It was because of my mother in law. She had never shown any signs before we were married, but as soon as we got married, she started coming over to our house almost every day. It's true that my parents in law's house is close to ours. But it really bothers me that she comes every day. Moreover, my mother in law does not come here to see my husband, her son, but just to bully me. My husband's department is busier than mine, and he comes home about three hours later than I do. So I come home before and prepare dinner. My mother in law always comes at that time of the day. Jane, I'm tired of waiting. Let me in already. What are you cooking today? Let me see your shopping bags. Wait. My mother in law puts the ingredients I bought on the table one after another. What are you doing? What are you going to make today? I was thinking of making risotto. Tom's favorite dish. Risotto? You're making him eat a one dish meal like that? What? Is there something wrong with that? You should make him more dishes, like grilled vegetables, seared salmon, or a salad. Make lots of side dishes like that. I make more dishes when I can, but I was a little busy at work today. I don't need that excuse. First of all, it's not right that you're still working after marriage. Do you really think that nowadays? Huh? Are you trying to challenge me? You're such a smart ass. I'm going to fix up your attitude. My mother in law would retort 10 times more if I tried to talk back to her in any way. And after throwing unreasonable and terrible abusive language on me, she leaves just in time. Oh, Tom will be back soon. I'll be back tomorrow. Then mother in law leaves the house with a smirk on her face. 
What a joke! Why should I come home after a long day at work to meet a mean mother in law? But my mother in law came the next day and the day after that, just as she had declared. I was afraid that if I didn't do something, she would really come over every day. I decided to work late so that I can go home with my husband. Unfortunately, my department had just finished this busy season and there was not much work left to do. Therefore, my boss told me everyone should leave on time as much as possible, and I was not allowed to work overtime. So I decided to kill time at a cafe. However, after a few days of doing this, I realized that the cost of a coffee would add up a lot if I continued this every day. Besides, it would not make me or my husband happy if I had to spend more money and come home late and prepare dinner. And aside from that, why should I be the one who has to avoid my place? One day, I decided to come home on time with the intention of making it clear to her. Sure enough, there was my mother in law in front of my house. I guess you finally gave up. You intentionally came home late so you wouldn't see me. It doesn't matter what you try, I'll be here again and again. Give up and take the beating. She's a mother in law who openly declares herself a wife beater. She's a crazy person all the way. And then, as if it were a matter of course, she checked inside a shopping bag and complained. After that, she starts complaining about me. How many times have I told you that it's not right for a wife to keep her job? That's why you can't have kids. Isn't that none of your business? What are you talking about? You can't get pregnant because you're stressed at work. Besides, there's such a thing as fertility activity, right? And you know, some people even take time off work for that. With all due respect, if I can't get pregnant because of stress, then my stress is not from work, but from you. What? You come to my house every day and beat me up like this. You are causing me a lot of stress daily. Huh, you're a really cheeky woman to say such a thing. It must be because the work is not doing any good to you. I'll have to make you quit. What are you talking about? What right do you have to make me quit my job? You see, I'll show you what happens when you make me angry. With that, my mother in law left. I thought she was bluffing, but she really meant it. One day, my boss called me in. Jane, is it true that you want to quit your job? Excuse me? Your mother in law talked to me about it just now. She said that the stress at work was too much for you and you wanted to quit. But apparently, you can't quit because you can't talk to anyone about it. No, that's not true. I love this job. I don't want to quit. Really? If you're having trouble, you can talk to me about it, okay? No, it's really okay, thank you. I had reached the end of my patience. I left work that day and went straight home. And my mother in law was waiting for me in front of the house with a grin on her face. What's going on, mother? Oh, did your boss want to talk to you? Did you understand what would happen if you challenged me? Yes, 
I understand perfectly well that you are a very bad natured bitch. How dare you talk to your mother in law like that? You really have no idea about anything. I won't forgive you this time. Divorce my son right now and get out. Okay, I'll get a divorce. With that, I went to the city office to pick up the divorce papers. Then I called my husband to meet me at a cafe to discuss an important matter. About an hour later, my husband rushed to the coffee shop after work. I explained the whole story. As a matter of fact, I have recorded many of my mother in law's mean comments. So when my husband heard the audio, he immediately trusted me. Seriously? Mom. My husband and I went to the city office immediately after that and filed for a divorce. Then we went to my parents in law's house. What's wrong with you and Jane? Let me come in. My husband and I went into my parents in law's house and to the living room. What's the matter, Tom? I have something important to tell you. What about? We just filed for a divorce. What? Oh my god! My father in law looked at my husband in surprise. But my mother in law glanced at me and grinned. What the hell happened? I can't believe you're suddenly divorced. Well, calm down, George. There must have been some kind of rift that only couples can understand. Tom and his wife are not children, so let's respect their decision. My mother in law said that with a relaxed expression on her face. But my husband's words made her face turn pale at once afterwards. I said we filed for a divorce, but we got remarried again right away. I decided to take the last name of Smith, which is Jane's last name. Oh, what do you mean? I think you know the reason for that best. What do you mean? She's been harassing Jane ever since we got married. What are you talking about? Where is the proof? Here it is. I pulled out my voice recorder and showed it to them. No way! You were recording with that? You look so upset all of a sudden, mother. Hey. What are you talking about? My husband took the voice recorder from me and played the audio. My father in law's face turned red as soon as he heard it. What the hell are you doing? What a bitch you are! No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't want to share your last name with you anymore, mother. Dad, I'm sorry that I had to do it this way. Well, what can you do? I'll do the same thing if I were you. I don't want to see you anymore, mother, so I'm cutting you out of my life. No, no, don't cut me off. Forgive me. I'm sorry, but I can't forgive someone who caused pain to the one I care about. Jane, let's go. Okay. My husband took me by the hand and we left my parents in law's house. By the way, the reason we were able to remarry right after filing for divorce was because we were married to each other before. It takes about six months to remarry a different person. We remarried immediately because we were told that it was possible with that same person. We then moved out and started living in an apartment close to work. 
My mother-in-law was not allowed to see her son anymore because my father-in-law had made a condition that if she ever appeared in front of us again, he would divorce her immediately. My mother-in-law has been a stay-at-home mom all her life, so she would have to obey my father-in-law because she can't divorce and live on her own. She really deserves it. I got pregnant a year later, free from the stress of my mother-in-law. Perhaps my mother-in-law was really the reason I couldn't have children after all. After the baby was born, my husband and I only saw my father-in-law with a child. I don't plan on seeing my mother-in-law for the rest of my life. My father-in-law seemed very happy to be able to hold his grandchild. My husband and I will continue to support each other and watch our child grow up together. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.